Welcome to the Giraffe community, everyone. Today and throughout this series, we're going to be discussing the fundamentals of Giraffe and how you can start drawing and gathering data in just a few simple steps. So whether you're an existing user looking for a refresher or it's your first time opening Giraffe, this is a great place to start building your knowledge. I've got my mixed use feasibility project up on the screen, which is what we're going to work towards recreating throughout this series. So I'm just going to navigate up and turn off the orbit function. And so now we've got this project in front of you. Giraffe is a cloud-based urban design platform that integrates 3D design, which we can see through my modeling of these two towers and some other geometry on the site. And it also integrates data layers. So if I navigate to my layers panel on the left-hand side, and I want to navigate to the layers panel and toggle on my land zoning data. So we can see that populate on the map and further provide more information when we are planning our project. Giraffe is also being used as a asset management or new asset development and policy creation tool through its ability to centralize and consolidate large data files visually on the map and throughout this process, Giraffe empowers smarter decision-making, enabling our users to better shape the future of our cities with greater insight and precision into that data. All right, so let's dive in and take a look at some basic navigation techniques um, to familiarize yourself with the interface of Giraffe. So as I'm sort of navigating around and rotating around a central point, if you're using a mouse, you can hold in your right mouse button to rotate around. Uh, if you are on a laptop using a trackpad, you can hold control um, and then click down and you can rotate around like so. If you're looking to pan across, so dragging across to other areas on the map, that's left click and click and drag and the same on the trackpad as well. Zooming in with the scroll wheel on your mouse or two fingers on the trackpad will do the same thing. So giving a bit of uh, information about the UI that we can see here, we've got the menu bar up the top. So going on the left-hand side, you've got your menu, your hamburger menu. Uh, we've got a project list drop down. This is where all your projects are gonna live and where you can also create new projects. We've got the drawing toolbar um, up the top and a sharing function so you can share your project once you're ready with other users or team members. We've also got the layers panel on the left hand side which we mentioned earlier. This is where all your data and drawing layers will live and where you can control what you see on the map. On the right hand side I've currently got it hidden but if I open the app panel we can see that data um, displayed through the app panel. So we've got the urban metrics app and we've got this data that's drawn and modeled on the site calculating through and we're getting an output so we can see a GFA here which is being calculated from what we've drawn on the screen. A good way to understand it is in terms of um, bucketing the information. So in the left hand side we've got sort of a bucket where we input the data and on the right hand side is where that data is being processed and we receive an output. We can also resize these panels as well, which is a nice little feature. Um, when dealing with large data sets, you can sort of adjust that to suit your vision or if you're on a smaller screen, it's very helpful to expand that real estate um, or you can close the panels altogether. And lastly, we've got the map controls. So down the bottom right hand um, of the screen, we've got some map controls there with some basic navigation tools to finding your way around the map. All right, let's get started. 